understanding how the logs and logging works in the Azure cloud environment is very crucial. We would have to configure our Azure resources properly to emit the log data during their execution. Without this, the troubleshooting in the production environment will be a nightmare. Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to ESG. In this video, we will see basics of Azure Log Analytic Workspace, how to configure a logic app to use Log Analytic Workspace so it can ingest the log data into Log Analytic Workspace. Later, we will use this log data for troubleshooting purposes. Let's get started. First, let's understand what is Log Analytic Workspace. I got this diagram from Microsoft official documentation. Log Analytic Workspace is an environment for Azure Monitor to log data. It is like a repository, a repository for all your logs. Based on your requirement, you can use a single workspace for all your data collection or you may create multiple workspaces. Each workspace has its own data repository and configurations. Each workspace contains multiple tables and each table is defined by a unique set of columns. On the left hand side, you can see data sources. These are nothing but Azure services which will be ingesting the data during execution. For example, a logic app, while execution, it can ingest logs into log analytic workspace. We will see this in demo. On the right hand side, we have log query. These are queries we write to retrieve the log data. The log data can be retrieved using log queries and fed to other services, for example, dashboard and log alerts. We can identify the service behavior using log data and trigger alerts. Now, let's jump into a demo. Go to Azure portal, click on create a resource. Search for Log Analytic Workspace. Click on Create. Choose a resource group where you want to store Log Analytic Workspace. Give a name for it. Select a region where we want this data to be stored. I am selecting Australia East, which is closer to my location. Click on Review and Create. Click on Create. The deployment is in progress. Deployment is complete. Now click on Go to Resource. This is our Log Analytic Workspace. If you go to Logs on the left hand pane, just close this for now. At the moment, we do not have any tables created. Usually, it will take a couple of hours for tables to appear here. We will come back to this when we have the tables available. Now, let's get into Logic App side of things. I have this simple Logic App. Let's go to edit and see what this does. This is an HTTP trigger logic app. It receives HTTP request. And whatever is received in the request body, it just passes to the next action, which is a JavaScript code action. It doesn't do anything. It passes the same body to the response and it will simply return that body in response. Basically, whatever is passed in the request body, the same message will be sent back in the response. A pretty simple and straightforward logic app. Now, let's see how we can configure log analytic workspace to this logic app. So, this logic app can ingest logs into log analytic workspace when executing. To configure it, go to diagnostic settings. 
click on add diagnostic settings just give a name to diagnostic setting the destination details we want to send the logs to log analytic workspace it will list out all the workspaces that are available under the subscription select the log analytic workspace now we want all of these logs to be sent to log analytic workspace just check all these click save okay this has configured log analytic workspace for the logic app now go to overview run trigger run with payload as in the body i will simply pass this message click on run status code 200 which indicates success and in the response body we received same message which was passed in the request close this come here hit refresh you can see the latest run 615843 now let's go to log analytic workspace and see if this specific run has ingested any logs into it okay i'm in log analytic workspace i can already see azure diagnostics table just run a query on this table to see what we get this is brisbane local time yep if you see at 8 43 it has ingested this many records we are pretty much interested in from here all the way up here if you see you have like resource id resource group and couple of important information is operation name where it talks about each start and end time of each action and status of that action here start time and end time and resource run ids this is a unique identifier associated with logic app run id we can take this run id and go to the logic app run history and search with this identifier and we can get that run directly in the next video we will see how we can use this log data to troubleshoot any issues if you like this content please do subscribe like share and help me grow this channel i thank you for all your support i'll catch you in the next video